What's up you guys? So today I lifted at a gym called Iron. Iron Gym. It's in Santa Monica. And I've got to say, this is actually one of the nicest gyms that I've come across out here. It's relatively close to where I'm staying, which is why I respect it so much. And it's kind of like in a residential area. There's some really nice apartment buildings in the area. The only thing that kind of sucks, there might have been a parking structure, but I parked my car at a meter because it was like literally right in front. But the gym was awesome. It's a super small gym. It kind of has like an underground feel to it. There's like brick walls. All the equipment is immaculate and clean and perfect they've got bumper plates they've got squat racks they've got everything you'd ever possibly need in this gym so mad props to you iron gym you're probably not watching this but just know that i respect your gym so today i'm gonna open up my program here so we can go over what i did this is gonna be kind of a new style where i'm just gonna kind of let the gym footage play raw and then i'll just talk over it and how i felt and um no no vlog stuff we're just getting straight to the fitness point here today was day three of program four now now i'm on program four with ascendant athletics which is omar nigel and mike so program is going super super well with them i am now in the process of reverse dieting out of my cut into a lean bulk phase want to really put on some size now because i am a scrawny little one and hopefully get some strength out of this as well so we started off with deadlifts i had just four sets of three we started off with 135 which went super duper smooth the only thing i noticed when i played back the footage is uh i have the tendency sometimes and it usually is when i'm warming up to kind of kick my knees under the bar as i'm locking out at the top i don't know if i'm just trying to overcompensate with that lockout and really just make it official by just jarring those knees out but that is something i need to work on it's something nigel and i've talked about i'm not sure if that went on with the last two sets but then moved on to 145 for three 150 for three and then the last set was 155 for three and they all felt smooth as butter deadlifts are still my absolute favorite movement and I think it's just because in my head I'm like fuck yeah just fucking lifting weight off the ground what about it sorry family if you're watching <laughs> it's just that's how deadlifts make me feel they make me feel like a badass so after deadlifts we moved on to front squats and I was super proud of myself because I had four sets of eight and I'm almost positive I've definitely done front, front squats with 25 pounds on both sides which is the equivalency of 95 pounds altogether but I don't think I've ever done it for eight reps I think I usually cap off at five reps or something like that I, I know I don't usually push myself enough and during the cut it was actually pretty hard to get to eight reps I did notice during each and every set that I was getting more and more tired my chest was starting to kind of fall forward a little bit my knees wanted to go inwards but I just did my best to correct that I knew I could at least finish the reps and not completely destroy my form it did you know I look back at it and I'm like okay there are things that could be improved but in general my form was pretty good I'd like to say I know my depth is good it's just really making sure I keep my chest up core tight and pushing my knees out yeah <laughs> but in general yeah super proud of myself for doing that I mean like whoa okay strength gains for little jazz that's a big deal for me I don't care if it's not heavy for you man that was that, that was a big that was an accomplishment for me so moving on we went on to stiff legged deadlifts and I'm almost positive I completely butchered my form I think that I was maybe bringing my hips too far back I don't know I'm not a genius okay like I I feel like <laughs> we're gonna talk about this real quick I feel like sometimes you guys think that because like I talk about fitness stuff that I like am just a genius but, but I'm still learning everybody is basically constantly learning even geniuses still have things that they have to learn so just realize if I say something incorrectly or I'm not always right about something yo it's all good, we all make mistakes sometimes. So what I can tell you though is that stiff-legged deadlift and Romanian deadlift basically do the same thing. It is different form, but I'm still figuring that part out. Now what I can say is that I'm pretty sure Romanian deadlift is basically more about kind of having your knees a bit more bent, having your back pretty flat or slightly arched, and bringing your hips back. Now this is where I, I'm not sure if I'm completely right or wrong, but I'm pretty sure stiff leg, it's not really about bringing your hips as far back. Your legs definitely do want to be not nearly as bent as they would be for Romanian deadlift. And I'm pretty sure you want to drop the weight as low as possible, whereas Romanian deadlift, you mainly just look for the pull and your hamstrings. Again, 
I could be wrong. I am still learning when it comes to, you know, training. So something for me to actually talk to Nigel and Mike about. I probably should have filmed and record, but I'm actually kind of in a rush because I need to head out to Anaheim. So let's just continue on. Don't worry. I'm going to talk to Nigel and Mike about it. I'll have answers for you guys the next time around. Next week, actually. The last thing I did was backward lunges. And the only set I recorded was the one where I didn't actually complete the movement. I was more so just kicking my leg back and then doing the lunges. But normally, you should be doing the backward lunge, bringing your foot forward, doing the lunge again, bringing your foot forward, going back into the lunge again. But what you guys are seeing is me just not completing the movement. I did still feel it and it did still burn like crazy. The last three sets I actually did complete the movement and I have to be honest, it felt the exact same to me. It still burned like hell, it hurt like hell, and I wanted it to be over and I was sweating like crazy, so I think honestly it's up to you. I mean, it's probably better to complete the movement and actually bring your foot forward. A couple extra secondary muscles, I don't know. But for me, uh, it felt fine doing it. Either way, it still hurts. But yeah, after that, finished it off with some face pulls, which felt fine. I'm still kind of figuring out my balance with that as well. But regardless, I do still feel the burn when I do that. So um, yeah, this was actually a really good workout day. It felt fine. After that, finished it off with some face pulls. I was pretty much swept by the end of this. I was super tired sweating feeling gross just all I could think about was going back and taking a shower we got two things actually now for you guys to check in with me about my face pulls and my stiff-legged deadlifts because I feel like those are just two things I'm not completely confident with my form on and that was the end of this gym session so I actually have a question for you guys now what is a lift that you feel could use a little bit of extra attention and a little bit of tweaking and what are you gonna do to fix that. So that's the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. There will in fact be videos like this every single week to kind of let you guys know how the program is going. I'll be kind of pre-recording them. That way you guys can basically see every single lift I do as I do it. They might be delayed, but they're gonna come up regardless. So yeah, we'll just talk about how I feel, all that good stuff. This video has been going on for 16 minutes. I have so much to cut out. So make sure if you enjoyed this video, you show your support by giving it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, there is a lion. I think it's right here. There's a lion right here. If you're on a computer, click that line. It will direct you to get subscribed to the channel and make sure that you comment below with the movement that you would like to improve on, why it doesn't feel good, and what you're gonna do to fix it. I love you guys to absolute pieces. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. <gasps>